Yep. Middle order, please. Just Greg, just like you're four, yeah? Okay. You okay with four? I'll do five. And bowl you right over. Dale, six. Lovely. Lockie, seven. We've got a tremendous array of codgers here today. <laughs> Fantastic. Chris Hacheman skippering. Because Lance Harris, the Cornish Coley, has had to go off with Mrs. Harris to go and buy some bedding. Uh, Bob Longcock's turned up with a end of end of season stock, Bob. I've got Dell's new bats with me. Obviously Every being a Surrey player and he's at least two. What's Derek doing getting new bats for? Derek, explain yourself. Um, I think it's me age. Welcome viewers to the familiar site of the old sawmill. This is a very special game uh, for a number of reasons. One is it is the final home game of the season. So that's it. And we've got a couple of Sunday games away, but this is the final game here and then it's down to pitch renovations and handing over to our hockey friends oh and that's um well he's gone i was just gonna say steve actual um who's uh one of our star third team players um he's gonna be the guy that's got to get us the runs today but he's not going to is he because uh, there he is bold second ball bob holland's in at number three um imagine should be nicknamed dutchy and he's batting here with uh, the other opener, Tim Payne. These two have both been at the club for probably um, somewhere between 30 and 40 years. Uh, huge stalwarts of the club. And this game is very much a sort of codger heavy game. And we're playing against Selsden. Selsden, which is an affiliated team of nomads who play mainly Sunday games, but the odd, um, the odd Saturday game when the league stuff's not on. Lovely shot from Bob there, and that's uh, opens his account. And um, yeah, Jack Dinning. Where is Jack? There he is, Jack Dinning, who uh, played in our first team this season. He's he's associated with these chaps and organised the fixture. So um, I think it's going to be a good fun game of sort of like a Sunday match, albeit a Saturday, and it's a 40-over match. God, Bob's uh, in fighting form this morning even though it's this afternoon now. And the Archbishop there, he's uh, just come back from a couple of weeks in Devon and um, yeah, he's getting down to his usual, his usual tasks of sorting the bins out, things like that. Tim Payne batting here, just to face a nice bit of gentle dibbly dobbly from down the hill. Look at that beautiful defence, which is pretty much what we'll see from Tim. So. Uh, well, I've seen one shot, literally have seen them all. Told you. Well, I beg his pardon, he's just played a lovely backward or back foot shot through the covers. There we go, four runs, he's off the mark. Archbishop there changing things up with a sort of white and orange bin. As this is the only game we have going on today, I'm going to call it a first 11 game. Certainly Bob Hollands at the other end played a lot of first 11 cricket in the 90s. Tim was second 11 captain for many years. Probably played the odd ones game, I'm not sure. Probably not. Bob Hollands, what a magnificent shot. Straight from the 90s, that was. Just look at Tim, he's got some beautiful new pads and sparkling white spikes there. He must have come into some money. Lance would have been playing, but of course he's not here. I oh, know he's not here. That's why I'm captain. Absolutely, and I got Matt Harris with me. Matt, why, why is your dad not here, mate? So in a bid to keep his wife happy, and <laughs> your mum, my mum, his yeah, wife, yeah, and in the fact that he's given her a loft conversion, oh yeah, he's gone out to buy is, beds is that, and pillowcases. Is, yeah, is, is that a euphemism? <laughs> I've, unintended. <laughs> um, he's gone well, out to buy a bed and a pillowcase. He's gone to buy a bed and a pillowcase instead of play the last Saturday. game of the season and his captain. So he dropped out of the game the, the morning of the match. Oh, the very morning. Yeah. Absolute shocking. Do you so think we'll see him later? How did it take to, for that to happen? Was it the <laughs> 
Well, thank you, Chris. That was an excellent example of the uh, Codger's mantra. The older we get, the better we were. And there's Dutchie. Beautiful cover drive. And why not? He's done it again. That's uh, no one moved there. Cool. This is uh, magnificent from Dutchie. See, Dutchie has been toying with, uh, you know, retiring from the game. He's, uh, what is he, 50? 50 this year, I think he was. And with shots like that, he's too good to retire. Guys out there of uh, codger age, if you can still do anything close to this, then don't give up. In fact, come back if you have given up, because, uh, you know, it's a marvellous game. Keep going as long as you can. What's he done? I think he's bust his bat. Look at that. Yeah. Hitting the ball so well. Broken a bat. And Tim joins the action. Oh, it's good fielding there. Full commitment, even in a largely meaningless game at the end of the season. Commitment and, and some ability to actually stop it. Wow, I know. It's, is, it's got everything. What a combo. Yeah, well, it's, it's commitment and ability. Actually. Oh, that's a little snick, I think. Snick, yeah. Put him down. That won't be expensive. 50. Just been chastised by the skipper for saying that. Tim's actually got a 40 and a 50 this season. He's averaging about 100, so um, it probably will be expensive. Apologies, Tim, I owe you a beer. Excellent start. A oh, new bowler on, looks like a bit of left arm rounder. It's got a magnificent name, Dave Shiv Mangle. What a great name that is. Nice. Looks like a decent bowler, actually. That's yeah, the first absolutely. ball right on the spot. Yeah, absolutely. Jeez. Cool. That one there. Uh, well, what do you think, Chris? Bit of turn and bounce there. Oh, if only I was 25 years younger. Oh, same here. Yeah. Wow. It, that, that's the one that produces that involuntary twitch in the shoulder. Yes. You know, when you're watching. You just, oh. Yes, I felt mine go as yeah. well. Well, just having a bit of Codger's no, uh, chat here about about sort of old age no, afflictions and things. And uh, Dell, Dell's here. You've got uh, you've got new heart. new heart, or at least quadruple bypass, whatever whatever that is. It's not <laughs> nothing's new, is it? It's all, all brought hearts. from other parts of your body, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's they rearranged me, me me veins in the yeah. order. Yeah, splendidly. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, and uh, and you came back cricketing as soon as you possibly could which is a magnificent effort so any any codgers out there thinking about having a quadruple bypass it, don't let it stop you playing cricket no for, for sure locky what have you got uh, some I've, spare I've got, parts yeah i've got a i've got a spare part um hip replacement spare yeah. part hip, hip replacement I, I lost half a stone for that as well it's good lightweight <laughs> material <laughs> oh i lost the 10 kg as well oh dear very good Oh, Painy, that was a good shot, but for nothing. Hello. 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 That's superb. Down the track, through the oh, covers, on that. the up. Victor Trumper. Victor Trumper. <laughs> yeah, Lockie, you're you're um, follically challenged like myself, and I have to say, the last thing I would ever do is get a hair transplant. I mean, just just let it happen. Well, one hair's not gonna Michael Vaughan. Shame on look I at know, them. I they're know, I know. Look at they look they look they just look silly, don't they? Yeah, be how you are. And the, absolutely and you know, the uh, when's the last time you had a haircut, mate? Or paid for one anyway? Before lockdown for sure. Before lockdown, mine was about twenty five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> <I've> <laughs> had two since. Mrs. Allen just gets the gets some sheer things out oh. and uh, and you know, it gives me a number one cut or number two cut or something, and that, that tends to do for a what, few weeks. Depending on how cross she is with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah so, something like that. Well done, yeah, shampoo, you don't spend much on shampoo. Yeah. <laughs> Toiletries are a bargain, aren't they, when you're follically challenged? Definitely, definitely, <laughs> definitely, absolutely. In fact, the last haircut I had. The, does, does oh God, you're, your you're right, you're right. You, it does cost you more in sun cream, which is probably more expensive than shampoo. <laughs> Good point. Our argument has just been shot down in flames, Lockie. Well, no, I can just get a bloody hat. <laughs> uh, yeah, OK, yeah, it can be a bit warm in a hat, but... <laughs> no, that's a good call. I remember the last haircut I had about 25 years ago, and, uh, yeah, the girl that was doing it, she... Ooh, beautiful ball. She sort of, you know, I came to paying the bill, and she'd sort of snipped away for a couple of seconds. Came to paying the bill, and uh, and and uh, she just had one look at me and said, "Oh, call it a fiver." <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, well, that's it. Don't need to. I'm not, not doing it again. <laughs> ah, lovely one from Dutchy there. Very quick on the uh, short ball. 
Oh, Hapini, that's nicely. Uh, well, let's say that was a nicely played cut. <laughs> now, with perfect timing, Keith Haynes turns up. Keith, we were talking about codger ailments and, you know, hip replacements and, and uh, uh, Derek's heart surgery. Well, you've got a couple of things up your sleeve, haven't you? Where do you want to start? <laughs> top or bottom? Yeah, well, let's, let's... Bottom to top or top to bottom? Which, which, which way is most entertaining? Um, I think I'll start off with the ingrowing toenail operation, <laughs> which was um, carried out by... A German surgeon Come on, was boys. in a hurry to get back on a P&O ferry to Zifazaland <laughs> and left a great big lump <laughs> of my toenail in there look festered. Excellent. Anyway, m moving up. Upwards. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. Um, right, moving swiftly up the body. A full knee replacement after being cropped at football at Which the age knee? of 21. Left hand knee. Left knee, yeah. Right. Oh, right. Right. Dutchy. Like you. Yeah, just um, quick pause, isn't Dutchy looking good? Oh. Yeah, Dutchy's in good form. It's since he okay. got rid of his old back, he's falling to pieces. Yeah. And, uh, he's, now, he's now got a Black Knight back. <laughs> well, there we and go. As, as Bob's Hello. agent, I do want to look for some commission on the sale. <laughs> yeah, get, well, Black Knight bats, you know, yeah, link, link, there's always a link below. There is a link Always below. a link below. And look, there's a little sign in the background. <laughs> oh, you just what you doing? Doing? oh, that's a little snick and he's, uh, he's gone. That was a splendid uh, innings there. Jack Dinning, they had to bring a solid oh, first team sure. player on to uh, get him. Um, yeah, super knock there from Dutchy. So, Keith, moving up from your knee. Um, two hernias, both operated by a Dr. Grabham, which I thought was very <laughs> Is that East Surrey Hospital? He is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 Dr. Grabham. Yeah, he doesn't get any he, better. He didn't last Hernias year. by Dr. Grabham. <laughs> Another nice one from Tim. Beautifully timed. Oh dear! Went for lunch. I went straight through his legs. <laughs> Greg McLean in at four, and uh, yeah, the Archbishop's turned up. And Richard, just watching you with the bins there, we've got a, you've got a new nickname, Archbishop Bin Loading. <laughs> what do you think Very about good. that? Very good. But also, I'd like this team in future to be referred to as the One E's rather than the four B's. The one E's. <laughs> well, is that the no, I, I, no this, just, this is the first 11 game. I've already said that to, to our viewers out there. It's the only game being played, so it's the first 11 game. Well, Greg McLean's playing and Jack Dinning's in the oppo, so why not? Love is in the air. Can you do fastball? Oh, here we go. He's well... Oh, 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 oh. Strangers in the night. Smell. So I've got Bob Hollands with me. Bob, what a splendid knock that was, reading back the years, mate. Yeah. You look fantastic out there. Yeah. yeah. What, what? I did retire on that last shot though. Well, it was magnificent, that yeah, on drive. drive. On drive, yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. Said to the keeper, I, I, I retire on that one. I thought the first off drive you hit was, uh, was pretty brutal. Yeah, but yeah that was actually, that was, that was nice. No, it's good stuff. Well done, mate. That was fantastic. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Yeah. The years. Yeah, and uh, uh, did you, was it a Black Knight bat you borrowed? I did borrow a Black Knight bat. Thinking of getting one? Oh, oh Greg yeah. McLean. Magnificent. Yeah, it's a lovely bat, but I still love the Miller Champs, to be honest. Oh, the Miller Champs, yeah. Can't go wrong with a Miller Champ. No, absolutely. Oh, and another one. Well, and there he is, Keith, with uh, all his ailments, keeping the ladies entertained as ever. It's the halfway stage, and it's 93 for two, 20 overs gone, and the scene is very much set for, um, you know, a decent, a decent next hour or so. Magnificent. Amazing. Sure enough, delays. And he gave me a little Pain is down. Greg calls him through for a single. <laughs> and, um, oh dear. Get with it. And I just was by the junction and it said, you know, save Lovely the shot from Tim. Um, I, drove past, I drove past one. It didn't oh, Tim's just put one through. Long on for four. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's that little force bit at the end. Okay, so the next Yorkshire ex-cricketer to, to join that uh, great game in the sky. Mm. I mean, I, you know what? I don't. I can't really recall who's who's already gone. Ooh. Oh, that's. Oh, well, yeah, Dicky Bird. Dicky Bird is, is, is gone four runs right up there. Yeah, Dicky Bird. Um, you've got um, Boyks. Boyks isn't too well these days. Illy. Um, Illy, of course. He's all right, isn't he? So Illy. Yes, three. Mm. Be a lassie. 
<laughs> Bill Athey. No, 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 no. He's still he's still head coach at Dunwich College. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's in fine form, Bill Athey. Oh dear. Mossy, so, Mossy. Sorry, Bill, if you're listening. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Um, Arnie side bottom. <laughs> Arnie, did Arnie die? No, well, Phil Carrick's gone, isn't he? He went like a long time ago. Really? Yeah, Carrick's gone. Oh. Anyway, our Yorkshire friends up there. Well, what do you think? I'm not that we want any of them to go, of course, but. Uh, Bit of a morbid subject, but I it's think it's boy, interesting. I think boys. I think boys. You think boys. Like mm. yeah. oh. Who knows? Well, the only the only way I know uh, my Yorkshire players, Chris, is because they all used to go and play for Leicestershire, which is where I was born and brought up. And uh, so yeah, Leicestershire and players that, that used to play for Yorkshire. Used to play for Yorkshire. Well, I mean Jack Birkenshaw is the obvious one. Oh uh, yeah, I mean Raymond Illingworth. Illy, I mean, obviously. It almost, yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously. Yeah. That's about saying Illy. Yeah. And, um, and you, you thought, I mean, Chris Balderstone, but he was, he was much more, he was sort of, I don't know, Northumberland or Carlisle or somewhere like that. But did you, he didn't play for Yorkshire then first. I don't think he did, no. But what he did do, of course, Baldy, he played, he played football for Carlisle and he's, I think, the only person that's played a first-class cricket match and a football league match on the, the same, same day. On the same day. And Absolutely. Didn't he, didn't he, wasn't he in the middle of getting 100? Yeah, I think he was. Cricket, in the cricket yes, match? yes, he was. Then he had to. Then uh, he went to play the football match. He came and then resumed the, his innings the, the next the, day. The next day he came in and finished off 100 and they won the game. It's yeah. real yeah. boys' own stuff. So, Chris Balderson, that's a lovely right. six from... Yep, yeah, a lovely six from Greg. Ah, Greg goes big. That's six, more like a nine. Humongous. There, yeah, gone a bit T to uh, IPL on you there. Humongous. And the Archbishop there, he's gone, he's gone all parky on us now. Look at that. He's even got a proper picker. Yeah. Get off the grass. <laughs> one of my favourite angles here at the old sawmill and Greg miss hits one. No matter. It's gone for four. That was... Uh, Poor ball, four runs. And Tim goes. Ariel should be out. Jack Dinning, no mistake. That's 131 for three. It's the 23rd or fourth over. Bob Longcock in at five, father of Johnny. And uh, Bob, I think I'm right in saying, he's got the ambition of uh, still playing Playing a game of cricket here at the Sawmill in his 50th year at the club, which would be in 2025, so good luck to Bob. Worth keeping an eye on Bob, at any minute he could unleash his reverse sweep. Or not. Short, hit away. Ooh, that was uh, almost subtle from Greg. Well, the pessimistic call of one there. Ah, splendid. 50 there for Greg. Brutal innings. Ah, and that's six. More like a nine. Huge. Is that gate open now? Oh, that's another one. Flat, hard, six. So, while we watch Bob Longcock uh, scratch around, I've got Tim Payne with me. Tim, splendid 50 there, mate. Yeah, well, I'd, like, really to, well. I'd, I'd like to say it was 50, but I think it was 44, actually. Oh, was it? <laughs> yes. Well, well, you batted really I well. I on the boundary that it was going for a huge six. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it, it looked like 50, and it deserved 50. It was uh, super stuff. It was reminiscent of uh, how you used to bat all those years ago where we used to play together, mate. Yeah, no. And you were my captain in the twos, I think, weren't you? Possibly, yeah, but yeah. I, mean, I think you were my comfort blanket today. As I looked up and saw you at the camera, I just thought, he's with me, and that, that <laughs> meant a lot to me. Very good, very good. Well, you probably won't say that after you hear my commentary. <laughs> oh, dear. What did they call it? A sucker? <laughs> Was it one of these suckers that people used to... Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Russell. Oh, Longcock. Splendid. Four oh. past Darley. Oh, hello, that's a risky one. And uh, he's run out. Lucky. Well, so Derek Rushforth comes in and. Oh, uh, shot from Derek. Yeah, he looks like a rabbit caught in the headlights there. I wonder what these two are talking about. Dale's saying, don't run me out, you bugger. Oh, Derek, Derek sticks one over the top. Nonchalant as you like. Four runs. Magnificent shot. Let's look at him. Look at him now. He's prowling around. Look at that. 
puffing his chest out. Yeah, easy game this. Easy game. Look at him. <laughs> oh, he's got a Black Knight bat. Oh, there we go. Wow, fantastic. Well done, Del. Let's Ali, see you do Ali, it again, Ali. mate. So he's got an aluminium bat there. Oh, he's dropped him. Oh, he's dropped him. What entertainment this is. Can't take your eyes off this game for a second. Look at that! Off the back foot. Straight through square cover. Four into the net. Magnificent. Didn't quite time that one. So 176 the scores moved on to and uh, Longcock's looking for another victim. I've got his first one here with me, Greg. Hi. So what happened there, mate? <laughs> <laughs> <He said> yes, <laughs> and I ran. <laughs> and you didn't say no. Yeah. God, blimey, what a what, what an assassin! Oh well, it's all all in good fun. He's now he's now got to get the runs that you're not getting, though, isn't he? I know. Ooh, You're trying. Yes. Look at that. That's going to be only a couple of bounces. Oh, six. No, he's gone for six. Lock is hit a six. Well, he is carrying on where you left off. That's good fantastic. Job, good job. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is amazing stuff. Well done, the Codgers here. Rocky puts on over, mid on. Super stuff. That's 189 for four, and it's uh, four and a half overs left. And Bob Locke, the assassin, is out. That's a nice one handed catch from Jack Dinning there. Bob goes before he could claim any, any additional victims. Well batted, lovely six. So Chris, who's become a sort of plastic track specialist, biffing sixes for fun, um, just uh, comes in casually and puts his first ball down behind square for four. And uh, oh, hello! He's put him down. That's a that's a let off. Three men deep on the onside, which is the only way you go with Chris. And he's put one straight as you like, and that's a. Uh, Oh, fucking hell. Four runs, as you could probably tell. A bit of additional commentary from the fielder there. Oh, and that's hit well. It's over the top. One bounce and it's another one. Beautiful play. 203 for five, three overs left. And where's he put that? That's gone out to, towards the nets. Oh, that's gone way up in the air. One bounce. Classic, Derek. Oh, that's a good catch. Good catch. Straight to the man. Makes no mistake. That's six down now. Oh, that's another edge. And it's caught. Finally, Chris goes. That's uh, wickets tumbling now, but we're in the last couple of overs. Dan Carey now, son of the Archbishop. And Dan can hit a ball well, I tell you that. Uh, oh, that's a bit of fielding there. Gonna come back for a second. Oh, DC puts one off the back foot. Gonna bounce a couple of times, four runs. Final over, Jack Didding. And that's uh, beautifully bowled, top of mid and leg, DC goes. And uh, Jack Didding got a hat trick now. 222 is the score. Oh, beautiful. Playing out the draw. Last ball. So let's see if the last ball of the match could be a double wicket maiden. And it was. Well done. Well, 222, I think we were settled that at the start of the game. What bowl, Jack, did he? Five wickets, I think. So you got a hat trick. We joined the game in the eighth over. Selsden uh, chasing 222, 223 to win. Our uh, 24-1. Uh, Greg McLean bowling up the hill, Dan Carey bowling down the hill. So Jack Dinning comes in at three, he's took five wickets and a hat trick. And, uh, DC bowling to him, and that's a lovely oh, shot. Lovely shot. Don't bowl there, son. Straight as you like. Keeper get it out. Oh, oh what a nut. Last well, that's in the air, and Hainsey, Hainsey just watches Hainsey it go over his head, head. and that's gone for four. Oh. oh, and that's gone. gone. Patrick's gone. given him. Patrick, oh, you don't get very un unusual. Very unusual, Stewie. I'm afraid I cut off the film in there because I just assumed it would be not out <laughs> because that's what it normally is. Oh, that's oh, oh. a top bit of work in the field. Nice. Superb from Greg there. Save four runs. 
And that's Oh Haynes. He did not quite realise that the ball was, well, sort of going in his broad direction, but there you go, it's four runs. So Bob Holland continues. He's bowling well, actually, and uh, keeping things quiet. Uh, more good fielding there, DC this time, and the score is uh, 49 for two. That's 14 overs gone. <laughs> good bowling, this. Last week, you had a bit of both for me today. Oh, that's a shorter ball, and oh. Derek gets good nowhere Derek. near it, and that's gone for four. Yeah, County fours right there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> And there's the Archbishop, he's still on the hunt for bits of litter here and there. Magnificent, like a womble. Ooh, that's a nice shot. Really nice shot. That's a nice pick up. That's going to go all the way. Ooh, that's, that's a lovely shot. Ooh, bowl it. Ooh. Bobby, Bobby. Nearly played on. <laughs> Bowling. There we go, it's the halfway stage. 81 for two off 20, so what have they got to get 140, 142 off the remaining 20? Could be a thriller. Keith Hayes comes on to bowl. Cap and all. Oh, beautiful one handed pickup from Tim there. Ooh. And that's gone, that's a full toss. It's hit him straight in front. Absolutely nailed on. Well done, Hainsey. Not sure uh, anyone thought he was going to get a wicket there, but well, magnificent. That's three down. Down the track. Put away through move for four. That ah, Keith Haynes continues. A run rate. Ooh. Goes up to that seven and over, and that's a tremendous hit. Six into the house. Ah. Oh, and that's low, Chris. And a uh, super catch. Excellent pair of hands. Yeah, that's a really, really, really important wicket. Batted very well, this chap. 50 or 60, superb. Ooh, a bowl. Well, oh, that's a bit of a moon ball and it's four runs. Lovely shot. Straight through the covers. DC after it. In vain. <laughs> oh dear. Village. It's mood, but Greg will clear that up. No, he doesn't. Oh dear. A rare miss from Greg. Well, look at that. A couple of. Second team, first team players, neither of them could stop it. 100 to win, 15 overs. Rajiv continues, it's a pretty good spell. Oh, and that's uh, four runs straight down to Dali. Well, Skipper's still got uh, probably three overs each from Greg and DC, so he's got those up his sleeve. So he's got to work a few more out of these other bowlers without giving too many away. Ooh, that's gone. Nice shot. And that could be, oh, lucky, lucky. <laughs> well, that's four runs at the end of the day. Bowling. Oh, that goes to DC who can't get out of the way. It's horrible, horrible bounce there. 80 to win off uh, 14. DC brought into the attack. Probably a wise move. Uh, try and sneak a wicket or two, get into the lower order. Oh, how did that miss? And again. And relax. Haynes continues this marathon spell and super light in length. Oh. That's a nice hit. Dutchy, no, it's over him. That's six. It's a good shot. Straight over the top. That's a full toss, that's hit away. Ooh. So 62 to win off the final 10. Oh, and that's, that's DC. Oh, he stops that one. Well done. Ironic applause. Oh, 
Chris after that. Can't get it. Ooh, now who's going to catch that? The keeper, that's a good catch. Well done, that's a, that's a wicket, that's five down. Well, that's three now for Keith Haynes. Splendid spell. It's just a bit of, you know, putting it up there. A little bit of wobble. And the ball. Oh, 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 oh just bounced over. 54, needed off nine. Steve Hatchell into the attack, and that's uh, edged away. That could run all the way, actually. haynes has got no pace left. And yes, it does. Look at that. Oh, that's a poor ball. Full toss, four runs. That's over the top. Oh, that's four runs. Dutchy. No, that's going to bounce short into Dutch. Oh, no. Four runs. Um, Slipping away now, this game. Need a, need a wicket. 34 now, needed off seven. Oh, that's not a good ball. And that's uh, probably four. Uh, Dutchy, yeah, it's gone. Well, this batsman's got his 50 there with that shot and he's batted brilliantly. I think ex-first team captain, actually. He's a good all-round cricketer. Easy, just pushing ones now, simple. I'm not sure what Salisbury can do to prevent Selston winning now. Selston could lose this. I don't think Salisbury could win it. And there we go, that could be it. No, it fell short. 22 win off five. For some reason, Hack is still bowling. Ah, oh, that's a good catch. Not the man we needed, but uh, it'll do. So, 18 to win. This chap, some wonderful chap there. Steve Hackle just said, uh, are you French? The batsman said, yeah. He said, where are you from? He said, France. No leg sidewise today. So 18 to win now, four overs. Greg McLean comes back into the attack. Um, yeah, the, the Frenchman this end was clearly out stumped, but uh, Simon said rescinded the appeal. They'd rather keep him in there. See it all now. Oh, it all happened there. Not a lot of it cricket. <laughs> and nothing from this over so far, and it's getting quite murky. Still nothing. Yes. There could be a couple here. Yeah, it's four. Haynes is, uh, can't get that. Field comes in to save the one. To be honest. Uh... Oh, and they've, they've gone for the one. <laughs> Didn't shout in. <laughs> oh dear. So three overs left. Hacky, where's that gone? It is getting dark here, and that's saved beautifully, saved by DC, and they've come back for a second. Eleven to win. Oh, and that's uh, a poor ball, and he's hit it beautifully behind square for four. That's a nice hit. And it's another four. It really is all going to be over here. Beautiful batting this. Let's see if the Frenchman can hit the winning runs. Oh, he can. He's done it. That's absolutely magnificent. Vive la France. And, uh, well, the fittingly, the Tour de France finishes tomorrow. Slovenians are going to win that. And why not? So that was a superb uh, game of cricket there. High scoring. 450 runs scored in the day nearly. Splendid stuff. I think Sana said rather mismanaged that in the field. But um, all's good. Good fun had by all. Let's go and see what uh, what's happening in or rather outside the bar. <laughs>